Okay, so we have this article from the Rolling Stone. Uh, Gawker got shut down for posting a sex tape. Why can the Daily Mail publish nudes of Katie Hill? Well, first off, the Daily Mail is located in the United Kingdom, so to- uh, a totally different set of laws. Gawker was based in the United States, and Hogan lives in the United States. They're going to talk about the Hulk Hogan thing. Um, but they didn't technically publish them. I will explain as we go on, because E.J. Dickinson of the Rolling Stone is basically going to ignore a couple of big key points about Katie Hill and this whole debacle. Basically, in 2013, everyone remembers the sex tape that Gawker published of Hulk Hogan fucking the wife of Bubba the Love Sponge. The outrage that following the story emerged as a slow trickle. Well, there was some outrage, but it was about some comments Hogan made on the tape. I basically said... This is not the tape of a man in anywhere near a normal state of mind. Men in normal states of mind don't agree to fuck their buddy's wife while their buddy films them. Okay? You're asking for a disaster at that point. And I think... um, And basically what happened was uh, he won the $100 million lawsuit. The jury ruled $140 million for him. Later, they settled for $31 million. Following the verdict, um, media pundits weighed in on implications for freedom of the press. And as private equity firms picked over the Gawker media bones. Now, basically, the lawsuit had been financially backed by Silicon Valley billionaire Peter Thiel. He had a... Bone to pick with Denton, because it was Gawker and Denton filed for bankruptcy. They published a story alleging that Theo was gay. Is he? I mean, I I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what, but whatever. Uh, He said it wasn't part of a personal vendetta. Bullshit. You do not back a multi-million dollar lawsuit just to protect people from... Uh, revenge porn or individual dignity. You do it because you have a bone to pick and you want revenge. I don't know if Katie Hill rises to revenge porn and I don't think Hogan's rises to revenge porn. I don't know much about how the ter- uh, thing came to light. From what I know, Bubba probably got a big check from Gawker. Anyway, uh, the author of IPPA uh, pointed out Theo's implication the bill had been inspired by Gawker was inaccurate. His argument that he supported Hogan's suit against Gawker for ideological reason was completely disingenuous. Yeah, no shit. He wanted revenge, and he got it. Good for him. I mean, if somebody does something that stupid, then yeah. Anyway. Why, which is why three years later, it's so surprising to see silence surrounding the subject of the media's treatment of Katie Hill. There's a couple of big differences between Hogan and Katie Hill. A rising star in Congress, I wouldn't say that, I'd completely forgotten about her up until this thing, and a darling of the left, anyone on the left is a darling to you jackasses. Hill, 32, was forced to resign as a U.S. representative last week after the right-wing red website Red State obtained and published intimate photos of Hill with a female campaign staffer. This is not entirely true. The origin of the photos are unconfirmed. Well, I can confirm it for you. She put them up herself on a fucking wife-swapping website. Uh, She claims that her estranged husband... um, has... uh, did it as an act of revenge. Again, I don't know. Again, the photos basically point to her, her husband, and the campaign staffer in question were having a three-way. Well, unfortunately, three-ways always kind of end badly because jealousy has a way of rearing its ugly little head. Um, Hill and the staffer were involved in a consensually polyamorous relationship before Hill broke up with both of them. The story accused Hill of having an affair with her legislative director, which she denied. Uh, That was later confirmed, by the way. 
Uh, the allegation a politician had an affair with a staffer is irrefutably newsworthy. It represents a pretty significant ethical breach, as Hill herself later admitted. Uh, no, it doesn't. Well, okay, for her it does. Now, whether you want to argue because everybody involved was an adult and it's all consensual, should it be, shouldn't it be, whatever. The other problem is, is I believe to pay for dates for the little threesome, she used campaign money, if I'm not mistaken. But it's written pretty fucking clear that if you are a representative, you cannot have a relationship with a member of your staff. If a relationship blossoms, either A, you have to leave, or B, the other person does. Um, the issue is separate from whether Red Stage story is ideologically motivated. Um, I, I don't know, maybe if the... The journalist wrote had a long history of, yeah, and if, I, again, when you go, when you write a hit piece on Republicans, it's what? Just straight up journal? Bullshit. I don't know of any news organization that is straight down the middle anymore. I used to say the AP, but that's almost long gone. Nobody is, shut up. I just want people to be honest with their fucking bias. Fox News is at least honest. MSNBC is at least honest. CNN's still trying to say we're just down the middle news. I mean, hell, I'm biased, but I at least admit it. Uh, Hill indicated that the photos were not released consensually. Then why did you post them on a wife swapping website? An abusive husband, of course, because if you just say your ex-husband is abusive, a bunch of nutball, wine-drinking feminist aunts will believe you. Seems to determine to try to humiliate me. You seem to have done a pretty good job of that yourself. Secondly, that staffer was not the only chick. There's another photo of her brushing another woman's hair while the one woman is clothed and she's brushing her hair naked. I don't mind CFNF, but that's not even erotic. Such a narrative would indeed follow the revenge porn script to a T. An estranged male partner. Again, it's completely inconceivable that a woman could release revenge porn. Retaliates by an ex by releasing... And again! So fucking what she had to re resign. Al Franken had to resign over far fucking less. Did we all forget that? Again, this is the Me Too monster that you fucking created. Good job, idiots. Now it's coming to devour you. Um, let's see. Uh, Hill initially vowed not to count out of such attempts to humiliate and degrade her. This coordinated an effort to try to destroy me and people... Close to me is despicable and will not succeed. Again, there's a third There's a third par party in this, you know, the other woman. How do you know she didn't leak the photos? Was she still on your campaign staff? That's a little awkward. Uh, the effort to destroy Hill was just beginning on October 24th. The Daily Mail published more intimate photos of Hill and the female staff or who they identified by the name blah, blah, blah. Hill was seen smoking a bong while naked in an image that served as an ideal grist for the Republican smear campaign mill. Oh, really? And the Democrats don't have a smear campaign mill? Everybody remember a couple of years ago the whole Brett Kavanaugh bullshit? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only Republicans who smear. The damage uh, had been done again. <sighs> You created this monster. Now it's coming back to bite you in the ass. Me personally, do I think Katie Hill should have resigned over this? My answer is actually no. Um, I think me personally, yes, I'm aware there are rules against representatives sleeping with their campaign staff, but I also go to the line of they're both fucking adults you know 
I, I hate this thing of like, hell, I'll give you another example. The fucking, uh, was it the UK McDonald's CEO or the European McDonald's CEO? He had to resign because he was having an affair with somebody uh, uh, that worked under him. They were both adults. It was both consensual. But he had to resign because, well, he's the CEO and the power dynamic is such that she is not in a position of power over him. So it's basically nine tenths of the way to rape. Katie Hill is in the position of power in this instance. You created this monster. Now it's coming back to bite you. Or you can't control it anymore. So make up your mind. Personally, I say this. If it's two adults in a consensual relationship, tough fucking titty, it's none of your fucking business. If he's having an affair or she's having an affair, that is the spouse's decision to decide what the fuck they're going to do next. Whether they're going to file for divorce or have a fucking fun time in fucking Vegas in a three-way. That's up to them. It's nobody else's business but theirs. Okay, as long as they're doing their job, I don't give a fuck as long as everyone's over 18 who anyone is fucking at any given time. But then again, I don't make the rules. And uh, actually, McDonald's had specific policies against employees dating other employees. Now, yes, of course, in McDonald's, when you go to McDonald's and you walk up and you see the pretty girl behind the register and you see the guy that's behind her in the, in the back condiment counter and he keeps staring at her ass every nine seconds. Are those two fucking? Probably. But they're also part-time minimum wage employees that will quit this job probably in the next hour. Anyway, uh, basically, in a tear-filled speech that quickly went viral, the forces of revenge by a bitter, jealous man. Of course, we must always blame the fucking man. And to be truthful, most likely, it probably was him that released it. But again, there's a lot of evidence that say that she published them herself on a fucking website. Which was for swingers. Which, again, again, I don't give a fuck what you do. But you, you took this job willingly, you read the rules, and maybe not fuck your staff members. There's a lot of pretty young ladies in, in D.C. that love to have a three-way with a, with a representative and her, and her husband. Uh, basically, cyber exploitation, sexual shaming. Nobody shamed you! Nobody fucking shamed you! Like, oh my god, she's fucking a woman? Get her out! No, most of the congressmen went, God damn, that's hot. Again, fuck the pool girl, not your staffers. Uh, fears and hates powerful women. Nobody fears and hates powerful women. Uh, combined to push a young woman out of power and say she doesn't belong here. Believe me, if I had such a force and I sit on the Council of Patriarchal Lords, trust me, we would have shoved AOC out a long time ago. Pretty much the first time she opened up her pretty little mouth to spew not what would you like with your rum and coke. And instead, hi, I have the Green New Deal. I wrote it with green crayons so you know it's important. Trust me, we would have shoved her ass out. By the way, Eliad Omar is probably the next one to go. Because she was having an affair with a member of her staff. It's like, you can't fuck your staff members. There's how many people in D.C. that you can fuck if they're willing? Uh, to an extent, it's not all that surprising. Red State, to a more egregious extent, the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail, I believe, is right wing, but they're not, you know, psycho right wing. Would stoop to publishing non-consensual nude photos of Hill. Again, she published them herself to a swinger site. Um, she's hired a revenge porn lawyer, Carrie Goldberg, to represent her. Uh, she might sue Pope Publications. Um, they may have a loophole with public interest. 
uh, is a right wing website with a history of promoting conspiracy theories. Oh my god, oh, Jesus Christ! For two years, MSNBC had the conspiracy theory about Trump sucking Putin's dick, and nothing came of it. Anyway, uh, that's about all I'm going to read on this. Basically, look at the end of the day. Um, she, she had an affair or a three way wasn't an affair. Her husband was right there. Probably taking the fucking photos. She posted it to a swinger site. So no, if you, it'd be, it'd be like if, if, you know, I've had my video shown on TV before. Okay. Okay. And for long-time viewers, you guys know what I'm talking about. I've had other YouTubers take my videos. Well, I willingly fucking published them. You know, there was a, a thing not so long ago where I where I, I got drunk and I fell asleep a lot on a stream. And I had the fucking thing up for nine hours. And one jackass decided to, to cut and paste it together. I mean, who cares? Anyway. But, um, yeah, maybe next time, uh, don't publish nude photos of yourself to a swinger website and then be surprised, um, is, uh, if it comes back to, uh, bite you in the ass. So, yeah, no, I, I'm sorry, but no, the two are not the same. And yeah, in the comments, if you if you kind of seen Hogan was a private, uh, uh, Hogan was a private uh, citizen. She's an elected representative. Two completely different things. All right. 